Hey guys, what's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another creature comparison. It's time for another blast from our prehistoric past, and for the first time, I'm including dinosaurs on this segment. And the two dinos I'm comparing are Tyrannosaurus Rex, or Tyrant Lizard King, versus Allosaurus, or Different Lizard. So, let's roll back the rock to the dawn of time and begin. As always, we start with our similarities. First up, both T-Rex and Allosaurus were large theropods that specialized in bringing down large prey. In Allosaurus's case, sauropods and stegosaurides, whereas with T-Rex, it was ceratopsians and hadrosaurs. And they did sometimes scavenge off of carrion. In fact, one of the biggest debates in paleontological history was whether T. rex was a predator or a scavenger. And both species have been known to hunt in pairs or sometimes in packs. This was especially the case with Allosaurus. And both species have been known to take very good care of their young, keeping vigil while the eggs were incubating, bringing food back to their young, and defending them from predators. And fossils of both species have usually been found in Western North America, although T. rex fossils have also been found in Mongolia, and Allosaurus fossils have also been found in Europe and in Australia. Now, let's talk about the differences. First up is their time periods. T-Rex lived 86 to 65 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Allosaurus, on the other tooth, lived 156 to 145 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. T-Rex was also much bigger than Allosaurus. A fully grown T-Rex weighed 7,000 kilograms, or 7 tons, was 13 meters, or 43 feet, long, and stood 6.19 meters, or 20.30 feet, tall. By contrast, a fully grown Allosaurus stood 4 meters, or 13 feet tall, was eight and a half meters, or 28 feet long, and weighed five tons, or 11,023 pounds. T-Rex also had shorter arms with two fingers. In fact, T-Rex's arms were so short, they couldn't even reach to its mouth, and their function isn't fully known yet but there's a reason why T-Rex had such short arms. Its evolution capitalized on jaw strength, which meant having to shrink down the arms so as to not overweigh the animal. And speaking of jaw strength, T-Rex had an incredibly strong bite force. A T-Rex's bite force was 16 times stronger than that of a lion and was built for crushing bones. In addition to a strong bite force, a T-Rex's mouth was filled with bacteria. The bacteria in its bite could often cause infections and diseases like septicema. So in one sense, a T-Rex bite could be like that of a modern-day Komodo dragon. By contrast, Allosaurus had slightly longer arms with three claws on them. And these claws were capable of slicing through flesh, so at close quarters, Allosaurus could possibly swipe at its prey and inflict mortal wounds. The innermost claw was positioned like a thumb in that it was slightly apart from the others. The claws could be up to 15 centimeters, or 6 inches long. It also used its claws to seize flesh while it was eating. Unlike the bone-crushing teeth of T. rex, Allosaurus's teeth were more designed like saws to rip through the flesh of its prey 
and caused deep wounds that bled profusely. This possibly allowed Allosaurus to attack animals larger than itself, taking a few savage bites, then waiting for its victim to collapse. And it could open its hinged jaws very wide to swallow vast chunks of flesh. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on Tyrannosaurus Rex and Allosaurus. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's go back to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? All right, let's see. Here we go. Ah, well, this next one is going to drive you a little batty. Alpha Lion Simba, out.